Welcome back, 90 Gallon Planet Aquarium, uh, high tech lights, um, low tech tank, uh, doing a 40 gallon water change, and somewhat of a rescape, um, making sure that a lot of the roots for the plants are able to basically, even though a lot of the plants are up in the air, trying to make sure the roots find their way into the soil. Um, I tend to get better growth. Um, a lot of these plants in the back are suspended up in the air and the nutrients is only coming from whatever is in the water column uh, which the fish give off plenty of ammonia um, but a lot of the other ferts that the plants need to flourish I don't really dose in this tank. So we're filling the tank back up. Um, I moved a couple things around and took out this rock here, which used to be over here, and then um, vacuum the substrate, and we're refilling it, and we'll take it from there. back tank is full um, the water column will still be cloudy until everything settles out um, pretty thorough cleaning um, basically vacuum half of the substrate uh, which I normally don't do um, normally it's just um, the area up front of the tank um, so again I'm trying to get the plants that are up in the air here in the middle, uh, mostly the Nubius, um, down so that the roots can actually make it into the soil and seem to get better growth. Um, also I'm trying to eliminate some territories that have been set up by the Bleeding Heart Tetris. Um, and I'll give this 24 hours and then I'll be adding the diamond head tetris. Um, there's a school of them. So um, I'll be adding a bunch of his buddies that are in the quarantine tank. And let's take a look at the parameters. We have we're at 80 right now and between 81 and 80.7 pH is at 6.64. See if we can get this light to come on. And now it's like on night mode. I'll have to check in with that in a second. Um, so, from here, after I do the 40 gallon water change, which is done, things will settle. I'll clean the Fluva 406. And a week or two weeks after that, I clean the AquaClear 110s on the back. And that's pretty much the rotation, is water change, two to three weeks. Then wait a week, clean the Fluval 406, and then come back around and clean the AquaClear 110s. So that is my maintenance schedule for the freshwater tank. And... Other than that, it's been a good year for this tank. I'm going to try and focus on it a little bit more in 2016. Um, I have been distracted by the saltwater tank. Um, so we will take a quick look at that right now. Okay. Always like to document exactly where the starfish is at. Um, believe it or not, it moves pretty fast around the tank when it wants to. Um, let's see what else. The frog spawn it has opened up a lot since I moved it to this area. It seems to love the flow. Um, unfortunately, its claws the coral directly underneath of it to put out its tentacles and 
So there may be a little bit of uh, chemical warfare. New person moved into the neighborhood. Uh, I'm not sure there, so I will be finding a new place for that coral. Um, this one fell down uh, and needs to be moved up here. Um, what else? Let's see. It's time to start gluing some of the corals down. Um, I need to move that. It's, the clam keeps moving on me a little bit in this area. Uh, right behind it is the grape coral. So this is the original frag of the green star polyps. So I'm going to try and get those to grow up this area and uh, along here. Um, the plate coral is doing well. Pulsinozenia spreading like weeds. Um, ever since I moved the bubble coral up here, it has really opened up, which is nice. Um, just pan it out a little bit. So one thing I've noticed is there's not a lot of, other than this, either cyano or red slime algae right along here, which is slowly starting to die off. Um, I don't have a lot of that white furry algae that was growing on the rocks anymore. Um, definitely the snails have put a dent in that, along with the starfish, probably the blue hermit crabs, which, yeah, they're all asleep right now during the day. They usually take a break. Um, a couple of the snails are on the glass. My cardinals are getting beat up. I think they're fighting. Um, there's only two in the tank, so I need to keep an eye on that. I've been trying to feed them a little bit more. They're eating. This one is looking really bad. Um, may have to pull him out of the tank into um, some sort of like hospital tank to see, give him a chance to rest. Um, the other cardinal sits back here in the back. You may be able to see him, but. Not sure. Yeah, there he is. All, all the way back there. Mm. Temperature-wise, let's take a look. I have a floating thermometer up here in the tank. Uh, it says it's. It's in the green area towards the upper part, so it's probably 79, 78, 79 degrees, somewhere in there. Uh, let's see if we can get this in the light. To not shine. Uh, that's going to work. Ah, there we go. So, keep an eye on the temperature, and again, down below. The 100 watt is over here, and right here, this is running at that 79, yep, 79 and a half. There's a 5 over to the right. Um, and then over here is the 300 watt, which the water going back up. Back there, that says um, 80.5. Okay, I don't know if that's going to show up good on the camera, but it says 80.5 is set to 81. Actually, all the heaters are set to 81, but they have. Um, let's see, and then the 200 watt, is, you can't see it right now, it is off because the, um, my refrigerant light is off. have a light that shines over this marine pier block. I don't really have a refugium. Uh, 
Um, I have plans to set up a 15 gallon refugium and well that's still on the burner. I have the tank, just need to get it in my budget um, to actually set it up and drill the tank. So Porch is doing really well. So more small. Kenya tree is already attached to the rock. Um, but my goal is to not have corals on the um, sand bed. So um, and then keep the zoas in this area around this cove um, and then they'll grow onto the rock as much as possible up until where the light and then in a lot of the shadows here and back there put um, non-photosynthetic um, corals oh that was the other thing the mushroom that was over here there's a large one over here. Um, it, I guess, I don't know, d disconnected itself from the rock um, because it's not on a frag plug. But it wasn't glued down and it's moved over here. So, not sure what happened there. Um, but pretty much the placement is where the corals will be glued down for the most part um, much cleaner look with the tank not having heaters and fish are all the fish are doing well except for the two cardinals um, it's not that I have a lot of fish in this tank, definitely want to add some more throughout 2016. Um, and of course some more corals. Um, potentially a third light, um, another Kessel light for the center, and then I could put more SBS probably in the center if I had a light there, but we'll see about that. Um, that just complicates things, adding another light. Um, another power cord um, another 90 watts of electricity that, that would be drawing so that is further down the list right now is mainly another round or two of corals um, a dozen or so per round is usually what I order and then from there I'm good on equipment 2016 would be actually trying to get the 15 gallon refugium online. That would be a primary goal. And once I get the corals glued down, to get in the habit of gluing them um, sooner rather than later. And add some more shrimp. Uh, all right. That's pretty much all that I have. Thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers and stay tuned for more updates. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to reply to them either in a video or directly 